I'm gonna show you guys how to tie the donkey rig. Who doesn't want to have more than one bait on so you can catch more than one fish, you know what I'm saying? We are currently in Florida. Um, gator, snake, donkey rig. We're just having a grand old time. What's up guys, it's Z Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. Today's video guys will be more of a tips and tricks style video. And I'm currently at my public lake, so why not give you guys a little bit of a fishing tip on how to be fishing your pressured lakes and ponds a little bit better during when fish are schooling typically. So right now, it is practically the summer here in Florida, or late spring if you wanna call it that. But I call this summer, it's hot as heck. It's about 90 degrees outside and fish are schooling right now. So typically when fish are schooling, they feed more on bait fish. Perfect bait for that is a weightless fluke. It looks like a dying shad, a dying bluegill, whatever it may be. It just looks like it's something dying and it's a bait fish and they want to eat it. They want to smack it as hard as they can. I want to do a little bit something special and I'm actually going to be using some baits from this month's mystery tackle box so if you guys don't already know what mystery tackle box is by the way this video is brought to you by mystery tackle box well, if you guys don't know or already know what mystery tackle box is it's like christmas every single month right to your front door where you get a bunch of baits a little bit over the value of what you're paying for the box every month and you never know what's coming hence the point of mystery tackle box and whenever you sign up a day you can get your very first box for as low as ten dollars if you use my code down in the description hunter fish i'll put it on the screen right there but this box is awesome i love the mtv pros i think i've been talking about mtb on my channel since i ever started and it's been an awesome experience to finally have some partnership with them i'm using some baits from today from the box i'm using the live magic shad and the 10,000 fish shimmer shad so one of my favorite brands from catch co is the 10,000 fish shimmer shad favorite baits from catch you know what i meant favorite brands is 10,000 fish but one of my favorite baits that i've been using i think i've been using a shimmer shad since i was at least 14 i am now 21 so <laughs> this bait has been around a while for me to like it Enough. What I love about it is that strobe strip in there. It gives you a little bit different ideal whenever you're using a fluke rig. It gives you a little bit more flash than a typical super fluke would. And with this Lake Fort Trophy uh, Lures Live Mat, I don't know what to call it. Lake, Lake Fort Magic Shad. There we go. That Lake Fort Magic Shad, it's a little bit of a different style fluke. If you guys can't see right there, it has a flat tail, heart tail. It looks really cool. I think this would look amazing on a chatterbait trailer if you guys haven't already thought about doing that yourself. But I think what I'm mainly gonna be using today is the shimmer shad because I just love how this looks and I love the different approach it gives to fishing a fluke style rig. But today's video is gonna be on the donkey rig. So the donkey rig, exactly what it is, is it's essentially having one mainline fluke with a bearing with a ball swivel and then having a ball swivel in the, above that going up and down the limb line to prevent line twist while you have essentially another weightless fluke flopping around. So it's a double rigged fluke and that's like fishing an A rig but fluke style. So that's definitely a very unique rig. If you're fishing a pressured area, a pressure pond, it's perfect to get those fish to bite even better. And sometimes you can even catch two on them. That's enough talking for now. Let me go get you guys on some tips and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie the donkey rig. All right, guys, I'm getting tied up right now. I have the Mr. Tackle Box right here. Now, I actually brought some ball swivels with me to actually prevent a little bit of line twist when I'm tying up this rig. So today I'm probably gonna fish this rig around for maybe an hour or so. I have work today, so I'm gonna have to make it quick today if I'm fishing. <laughs> All right guys, so I actually brought a little extra accessory, a size seven barrel swivel right there. It's a little 25 pack. What it does is mainly preventing line twists whenever you're using uh, these rigs. Cause you know, sometimes your, your bait might be freaking out, flying around all that stuff, but I'm gonna get it tied up today. What I'm currently using is 14 pound monofilament with a like 40 pound main line. And that's essentially what I'm using for my main line today with this rig. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna tie up essentially two separate lines with ball swivels attached to the end. So first what I'm probably gonna do is actually take off about, let's do about 10 to 12 inches of line. That's typically what you wanna do with the donkey rig. I'm actually gonna grab more leader real quick cause I do not think I have enough leader to supply this entire rig with the line for it. So I'll be right back. All right guys, got some more 14 pound line. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this line right here and I'm gonna take about not arm's length because that's a little bit too long, but take about, we'll take about a full arm's length of line right there, about 10 to 12 inches. I'm gonna take that much line. That, yeah, that almost might be too less of line, but I always like to just go over way too much on line. Now with my Mr. Tackle Box, I actually got some hooks. So some EWG hooks are gonna work great for this. Um, really, you can use any EWG hook, any offset shank hook you wanna use. It'll all work, honestly. So I'm gonna grab this. So I'm gonna be using two swivels for this rig today, guys. Uh, really, this is all just for preventing line twists. No really reason to do it. I could actually probably come up with a different way to do this 
with the sliding line trick, but I don't really have one off the top of my head right now. I'm just gonna worry about doing this way first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie to that barrel swivel. We're gonna use a, probably let's do a uni knot. Let's just do a like uni knot to the barrel swivel just cause I trust it a little bit more with monofilament. All right guys. Just finishing up this uni knot. All right guys, just finished up that uni knot. We're gonna trim that tag in real quick. So that right there is gonna be the first top line that we're gonna put on the main line sliding up and down there. So essentially let's tie on that hook now. I only have three of these. So if I break off, I'm hecked for today. So let's be careful. <laughs> All right guys, just tied the line to my hook right there. So right there we have about 10 to 12 inches of line space for the donkey rig right there for the first one. And essentially what we're gonna do is that is gonna go on the main part of the line right here, which I'm actually gonna trim a little bit of this line off because it's wrapped around my reel handle. So I'm a little bit frayed right now. So where that's essentially gonna go is, is that is gonna go up the line right here on first. So why am I doing this? Is essentially to prevent line twists, like I've said, and this is gonna be sliding up and down the rig. But what you could do for a little trick, if you wanna limit how much it slides up and down this line, is you could put a bobber stop up here. I don't have any with me, but you could put a bobber stop up here to prevent how much line is bouncing all over the place. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tie this next barrel swivel right here. And honestly, guys, with this, you could probably use smaller barrel swivels, but I think with the bigger the barrel swivel, the stronger it's gonna be. So I honestly don't think you should be using smaller barrel swivels than a size seven, just because I feel like size seven is even too small in some ways too. And I bet you could even use this with essentially other swivels, like other type of swivels, but I probably wouldn't recommend it exactly. Like you could probably try using this with a snap swivel, but the whole point of the barrel swivel is to prevent line twist. So we're probably gonna just stick with the barrel swivel for this, for myself. I'm going to do that. You guys can try it with whatever you want. I'm sure there's really cool ways to do this without even using swivels. And I wish I could do that. Uh, I'll have to figure that one out though. Second swivel is tied on right there. Now all we have to do is just tie a hook to the end of this. That's kind of long. So I'm assuming I'm just going to shorten it up whenever I go to tie the hook on. But we are almost done with the whole donkey rig. This does take a, take a while to tie up. But from what I understand, this catches a ton of fish. So we're going to be finishing it up soon and going to try it out today folks all right guys just finished tying up and we currently have the two hooks tied up a little bit long of a leader there but essentially there you go guys we have two different lines and everything we're going to tie up the flukes and essentially whenever they're floating in the water they won't twist up as bad as what what it's showing right here <laughs> it won't twist up that bad whenever it's in the water just mainly because there's two different swivels keeping them separated a little bit better than this oh my gosh but essentially what this allows you to do is just have two flukes on at the same time and who doesn't want to have more than one bait on so you can catch more than one fish you know what i'm saying we're going to take take these 10,000 fish shimmer shads right there regular fluke style and that's how we're going to be using this bait today so we're going to take this little 10,000 fish shimmer shad if you guys notice the little little strobe strip in there and the little tail going nuts i love the tail on these things they just go crazy it looks like a little drop shot so it's perfect so we're gonna rig it weightless style so that means come through the head all right guys we got the first shimmer shad rigged on there weightless and we're gonna get that second one tied on real quick now if you guys really want to burn through baits use this rig especially all the time honestly i feel like someone could do this with a weightless sanko rig and i think that actually would be kind of funny just to see someone do this with weightless sankos instead of these guys but I, I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. All right, got the first, the second one going on right now. All right, guys, we got the second one tied on there. And now we have a complete and finished donkey tail, not donkey tail. <laughs> we have a complete and finished donkey rig right there. Guys, two little flukes, all rigged and ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna go do some fishing with this, but the way you're gonna work this is mainly just like a regular old weightless style fluke. And uh, really it's just gonna be slow letting it drop and pop in both at the same time. What these rigs will do is they'll go in a Z formation almost. They're gonna be acting all over the place, acting all nuts. And really it just kind of gives the fish a little bit of different presentation and hopefully convinces them to bite just a little bit more. I'm gonna go fish this for about an hour and uh, you guys stay tuned. Let's get fishing. Essentially, 
this donkey t donkey rig is going to be a little bit tougher to cast seeing the fact that it's actually two baits in one so it's not going to be exactly easier to cast so that it has so much wind resistance two baits going different, two different directions it's going to be tough to cast when you use a shorter leader on the donkey rig it's going to be a lot easier to cast and there's a gator chilling right there welcome to florida boys and there's snake eggs right there that's cool too it's always nice we are currently in florida um gator snake donkey rig we're just having a grand old time oh dang it you have one? yep <laughs> All right, guys, I just had uh, my first bite on the donkey rig right there. Uh, he tore me up real good right there, if you guys can't see. He grabbed me, and I tried to hook set, but hook setting with this thing is difficult. So you kind of have to really work on this bait a little bit. So don't be mad if you miss the first couple of fish you get a shot at on this rig, because really it's a tough rig to get hook sets down with, just because it's two EWGs, so you really never know exactly how you need to hook set with it. So. I got my first bite though. That's all that matters, right? He was right about where I just casted when he bit, so I'm gonna let it sink there for a little bit. Or actually, here's a quick pro tip. Pop the rig just a couple of times to let the baits straighten out and so they can untwist. Gator's trying to catch you slipping, man. Yeah, he's trying to trying to make sure I don't catch anything he don't want. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks video. I ended up only having one bite. Um, I'm not really sure what was going on today. It's midday. I got stuff to do today, so I got to head home for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks video. Just figured I'd get something out. And uh, I really want to say thank you to MTB for sending me out that box. It always is great to get more tackle each month. And these weightless baits are very unique and very good. And hey, one of them got me a bite today. So definitely, if you guys want to check them out, use my code HUNTERFISH at MTB and get your first one as low as $10. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're liking. And uh, make sure you're checking that bell. I'll see you guys out on the water. And uh, remember, spare me.